Hey guys, and welcome to this Tellift video. Please like and subscribe. I'm standing next to Simon, and he's gonna demonstrate how this works. Okay, Sid, so I'm gonna show you how the tail lift works on this. Um, first thing, you need to actually switch it on. There's an isolator switch in the cab. It's usually somewhere sort of around on the, on the dash. Does it have a symbol or anything? Um, it, normally, it, it normally says tail lift. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or it might have a sort of a, a kind of a, a, a lift sort of symbol, but yeah, it's, but in this case, it's in the middle of the dash. Some trucks, you'll find it integrated somewhere down around the seat or maybe on, on around here. Um, you know, I've, I've had to hunt for it before. <laughs> and the tail lift is, is obviously used for unloading and loading of, of your, your stuff on, on the truck. And they're usually in seven and a halfs, even on the, on the smaller Lutons as well. Yeah. You might find them on 18 and 22 ton trucks as well. Now, one thing, it will usually tell you somewhere, I think it's here on this one, how much weight it can take. Okay. Because um, obviously if you put too much on there, it's going to damage the motor and then you're stuck. So to operate, dead simple. Um, around here, we've got an up and down switch. Yep. We've got a couple of release catches. Um, to release the tail lift, you've got to usually bring it down a little bit. Okay. Then on this one, there's a very simple catch that just holds it in there. Now, do it from the side. Yep. If you get on, because they are quite weighty, they're not hydraulically lifted. So it's, it's better to do it from the side, just in case it catches you by surprise then it's going to drop and not hit you or anything. So do it, do it from beneath. Then what I'll usually do, I'll bring it down till I'm around about almost at the bottom actually of, of the, the mechanism here, yep. just so that I can step up and then open up the back of the truck. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> and then there's another similar up down button here but you'll see there's a third switch which actually then takes the operating power if you like from down there ah. up here so it enables this one okay all right now here I'm, I'm always mindful of just keeping my hands clear if there's any um, mechanism and my, you know sleeves or your dangly high vis and also another safety point make sure your feet are back because you'll see yeah, the lift goes flush with the bottom of the of the, uh, the 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 lip there, so you could get your toes caught under there. And Don't then want that to happen. It sort of cuts out when you get to the top. Dead simple, really. Sweet. Yeah. Then we go down, and then bringing it all the way down. Now at this point, similar sort of thing. It's a good idea to remember to switch it back down to the button on the bottom because there's nothing worse than locking it all up, getting off, putting the thing up, and going, ah, oh, so you've got to. Not done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I've remembered. So bringing it up, yep. To bring it back up, you use this um, other catch here, mm. and that releases it because it's sort of locked in place. Cool. I'll show you what I mean. If you don't, it won't move. It won't move, yeah. yeah. And then, you hear it sort of change yeah. the sound there? That's it's gone as far as it'll go. Okay. So then you know you're, you're clear and all your lights are clear and your reg is clear and all of that. Sweet. Simple as, really. Lovely stuff. Nice one. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Any questions, please leave them in the comments down below.